Sir, I was telling those people, I said, there are, there are three levels God can heal us. Mm, yeah. There are three levels. Number one, mm. true medicine, medical, surgery, and normal these technology things. Like, if you are not taking blood transfusion, mm. yes, yes it's not the fact that it is demonic. Mm. It is your church principle mm. or church doctrine. Church doctrine does not override the Bible. If you honor the sound of my voice, I stand as a prophet of God and I decree by the authority of Jehovah. Jesus said, out of my belly shall flow the river of the living water. If you are watching me, mm. whosoever is going to scatter your marriage, mm. they will collide with the rock of ages and they will scatter. Amen. In the name of Jesus. For the fact that your church say you should, people should not take halves or say, probably they are trying to limit you to not deviate into occultic something because the word herbalist, when you begin to do it, the ah is an herbalist, is an herbalist. The word herbalist means someone who knows about root leaves and, and herbs to make use of it. It's not involving satanic, demonic incantation. So the third level is the supernatural. The supernatural. Divine. Mm. That is the highest one. That when herbs, roots, doesn't work, when you've gone for surgery, when you've gone for medication, you've used all manners of things, it doesn't work. Then that is when the supernatural power of God will mm. not move in and set in and begin to heal us. Mm. Just like drinking alcohol. Now, my own take on that is... It is not a sin. People might say, ah, but it is alcoholic. What happened there is this, sir. Hmm. When those things are prepared, the potency of those things killed and subdued, um, and subdued the alcoholic content hmm. that is inside of it to the barest minimum. To God be the glory, I prepare uh, an anointing oil hmm. for somebody with with something in, in her womb. Mm. It's, it was a spiritual mm. You know what? That was the first time I would hear it. I, 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 I've heard about that, uh, that statement done in uh, Iraq and uh, an American war. Mm. When she used it, the husband gave me, I will, not tell, I will not say in the public what the husband gave me, but he thought it was a joke. He said, Daddy, I have to open every window in my house because I never knew there was a weapon of mass destruction inside my wife's tongue. Jesus Christ. Well, it's another wonderful, lovely day in the city of Lagos, Nigeria, West Africa, as we are privileged to be again in the presence of God and in the presence of His Son, a man of God that is very dynamic in his own way, a man that we met under the special grace of God Almighty, 
couple of weeks back. And after we discovered him and we interviewed this man, a lot of people have called in from London, from America, and from other parts of the world to appreciate the fact that ignorances have been broken, especially spiritual ignorances, and that a lot of people are getting their redirection in terms of the church to worship, in terms of ethics of Christianity, in terms of doctrine and issue of biblical injunction and all that. Today, after so many weeks, we have tried to reach out to him and we want to thank God Almighty that his aid we are able to create another wonderful time to meet him. Of course, it has been so busy in the last three, four weeks for him. And on the 29th of October, that is last month, he was given an award uh, and uh, it's called the Grand Armor Bearer of Christ organization. They gave him an award that is by the National Christian Dom Prestigious Award. The award is called the National Christian Dom Prestigious Award, which was delivered to him in Lagos, Nigeria. Not just him, but to his wife also, uh, Lady Evangelist Dr. Elizabeth Adebola. Uh, we want to appreciate this fact that this man is doing a lot in the house of God and is doing a lot in the Christian community and as a prophet. There's a lot of direction that we're getting for him. Today, Friday, November 12th, we are honored to be in the ambience of Prophet Dr. Iman Adebola. I want to congratulate you, sir, for thank this you very much, wonderful sir. award. And uh, <laughs> I want to thank you. I want to ask you that why is it so difficult all this while we're trying to pin you down again? Because after the last a counter. A lot of people started calling us that we should go back to you, that they want to hear more, especially about their religious life, and most especially about their spiritual life, that some of them are in bondage, some of them are run riots. In terms of progress, they can't get it again. They are in churches for two, three, four, five years. Some of them won't get into their church with two problems, and before they knew it, they've added zero at the back of the two. Some enter their parishes with just one problem. In one year, in two years, they have zero at the back of the one. So, so why have you been so difficult and how will you react to the, how, the award of the Grand Armour Bearer of Christ, G-A-B-O-C, uh, which was given to you and the National Christendom Prestigious Award 2021? How will you react, sir? Thank you very much, sir, yes, sir, for coming to come and interview me. Mm. I've been very, very busy because I had a program uh, for only ministers and pastors. Oh. Yes, that came up on 28, 29, and 30th of October. So it has gotten me so much busy, and we thank God that it was successful. Yeah. On the Saturday of it, I was given an award, and myself, my wife was given an award yeah. by the Christian Dom Burial. And among those people that have been awarded in that category are uh, the ex uh, Senate President David Mack and uh, His Excellency. Uh, Mr. Benga, Daniel, and plus other big, big men in... I also learned that the former president, president yes. Good Luck Jonathan, was yes. given. I hope uh, Mr. Benga Daniel will not be angry that you call him Mr. because he says it's Otumba. It's honorable. Okay, he says it's Otumba, Otumba Benga Daniel, OGD. OGD, yes. Okay, Otumba uh, Benga Daniel. Mm. We respect your name, sir. We didn't. No, you might not be very. You know this position. It's just a we are not too small yes, for him. We are not so taking you for granted. Mm. You are our mm. former excellency, and mm. you always carry that grace continuously. Mm. So that was uh, how it went. And since then, a lot of pastors have been meeting with me. I was mentoring them, tutoring mm. them, and leading them to the pathway which God expects us to do. I understand from one thing that. Yeah. Whatever we are doing for God, let's do it excellently. Yeah. And take into consideration that all these things, no matter the material things we acquire, yeah. there's always one day yeah. that we will leave it behind and go back to where we came from. Paul said, our citizenship is of the heaven, yeah. not of the earth. So it was a very nice program. And aside from that, a lot of people has been calling from America, Canada, London, France, and the call has been so tremendous and huge because of the last broadcast. Yeah. So I thank God 
before I was given this award, mm. three months be down the line yes, sir. before that time, yes, sir. the Lord was telling me, how will you, how are you handling obscurity? What do you call it? Obscurity. Obscurity. Mm. When you carry grace, you carry anointing, mm. and nobody is even, they don't mind you, they don't know you. And I was doing a research on that topic, mm. how to handle obscurity. I got to understand that God was trying to teach me something. Three months after that, I did not bargain for it. We did not solicit for it. We have just been consistent on social media, preaching the word of God, the word of life to people. Mm. Then we must understand one thing that no matter what you are doing, some people are watching you. Mm. You may not know. So it's better for us to do it. So they are observing. They are observing. So, and it's a, the Christian uh, Dom uh, Bureau. It's, it's a very big organization. Very, 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 very big organization. So they just message me and on Facebook and say, we have been watching you. We have been look, looking at what you have, God is using you to do. And even prophetically, we have followed you so much. We are led by the Spirit of God mm. to give you and your wife an award because my wife is the uh, convener of Good Morning Jesus, mm. Monday to Friday. And she's also the convener of unique women. So they have been watching like that. But we thank God. Mm. God is faithful. God has honored us. There are some things, if you have money, you cannot buy with money. Yes. Honor from God. The Bible says in the book of Hebrew, no one take this honor unto themselves, except it is given from God. So I thank God. I want to ask you this question, that during the time of the torrent of calls from Canada, France, yes. America, and some other part of Africa. What did you discover is the genuine problem of an average Christian? Ha. Huh. Number one, huh. marriage. Marriage care. That's number one. Number two is stagnancy. I'm talking about genuine problem now. Stagnancy mm. and those people that had challenges more are women. Mm. Some people are supposed to have been married, mm. they're not married. Some people, some of these dirty ladies came into their marriage and still their husband. Mm. And there's no way to recover those marriage back. If you're under the sound of my voice. I stand as a prophet of God, and I decree by the authority of Jehovah. Jesus said, out of my belly shall flow the river of the living water. If you are watching me, mm. whosoever is going to scatter your marriage, mm. they will collide with the rock of ages, and they will scatter. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Those people that have been putting embargo should have been married. You are 35, you are 36, you are 40 something, and nobody wants to marry you. Either you are a man or you are a woman. That satanic blanket that has been placed upon you that people will not see you, I set it on fire in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. The Bible says, Jesus said, heart of my belly, out of his belly shall flow the river of the living water. Every part of living thing that is inside me, based on the anointing of God, based on the authority of God, out of me shall flow the river of the living water to you. If you're under the sound of my voice, under the space of 14 days, your testimony is next. Amen. So there are various, and some people, they will say, ah, they fasted, they prayed, they've been to the mountain, they've met different type of prophets, and the problem still remain the same thing. Hmm. I understand by revelation, by knowledge, and by wisdom that behind every problem, there's a hand. When you see a flame, there's a fire burning. You may not see the fire, but for the fact that you see the flame, hmm. there's fire burning somewhere. And I understand that the proof of a lock, yes, it's a proof that there is a key somewhere that can open that lock. The proof that someone had challenges hmm. is a proof that uh, there is a solution to it. That there is a solution, yes. ultimately. Some people will ask me various questions hmm. that about healing, that ah, 
They've been praying for this healing. Sir, do you understand one thing that? Mm. Ordinary charcoal, charcoal, if you have wisdom. Are you talking I, about the Edu, the Yoruba yeah, College? Yes. The Edu, the, the charcoal they get from the pit. Okay, sir. Inside the pit. Mm. I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about charcoal cutting from wood. Mm. Yes? Cutting from wood. Do you know that that charcoal, when you have wisdom, it can heal cancer? Mm. Jesus Christ. Do you know that? Jesus. I'm not saying that's the reason why. See, the Bible says we perish for lack of knowledge. Sure. We didn't perish. People are not perishing because they cannot fast. I've seen people fasting like 40 days, 41 days. They are, they are not perishing or staying in one place because they cannot go to the mountain to go and pray or do vigil. Sure. But which means knowledge is very, very important. So I was, I said, and they were asking me, can they? Is it proper for Christian to drink a bull that is bush product like this? That is that, 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 that vegetables, herbs, that is herbs, herbs uh, roots, hair. and leaves. Yes, because a lot of people have been and asking I, that question. Yes, too. sir. It's and one I, of those things they say we should ask you. Yes, really. sir. And I said to them, it is biblical. Hmm. When God first of all created the heavens and the earth, He took in process. Yes. He did not create fish before hmm. water. Yes. The Bible says in the book of Genesis that mm. God in his infinite mercy created herbs mm. for us, for consumption. Yes. We look at it in the book of Genesis. In Genesis chapter 1, we saw it there. We saw it in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 29 to 31. We saw it in Exodus 15 verse 25 to 26. We saw it in Genesis chapter 3 verse 11. We saw it in Revelation 22. We saw it in Ezekiel. Yes? In Ezekiel, uh, I think, Ezekiel 12 or something like that. Hmm. Where God has made provision for us concerning herbs, concerning roots, concerning leaves, for hmm. us to consume hmm. in order to have healing. Sir, I was telling those people, I said, there are, there are three levels God can heal us. Mm, yeah. There are three levels. Number one, mm. true medicine, medical, surgery, and normal these technology things. Like, if you are not taking blood transfusion, mm. yes, yes it's not the fact that it is demonic. Mm. It is your church principle mm. or church doctrine. Church doctrine does not override the Bible. God gave people, uh, the medical doctors, pharmacists, surgeons, uh, whatever they call themselves, gynecologists. As gynecologists and neurologists and all those dealing with cancer. God was the one who gave them the brain hmm. to be able to read that course. And moreover, every medicine that they produce, yes, is gotten from roots and herbs that were processed. Although they will now say eventually that they have measure for it, yes, which mm. is which is okay. So that's that. Yes, All sir. those medications are gotten from roots, herbs, and leaves. Mm. Yes. Then there's another level of healing. Yes. When uh, God wants us to use herbs, roots, mm. and and backs mm. for consumption. Take for instance, we went on an evangelism. In one Local, I think it's locality, a, yes, it's it's a republic of Benin. Okay, they don't wear, they don't wear the ladies or the women. They don't wear uh, bra. bra. Yeah, they wear this kind of boots. Something. I was so shocked when I saw them mm. that is there any people on this planet that they don't wear bra. Mm. So and the men, the way they dress, you see the thing they put leaf, leaf is something. Mm. So. We were evangelizing them, and I personally felt sick because of malaria. Before I left the country to Nigeria, the country where I'm living, to Nigeria, I had already taken injection. Mm. I've already brought with myself med all manners of medication. Mm. But when we got down there, the malaria hit me. My, my team were praying, 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 praying. The malaria was not going. I couldn't oh. follow them to go and do the evangelism. So I have to stay in the hut. Hmm. Yes? And eventually, the third day, this local man just came and said, ah, Sir, why are you lying down? You are not following. I said, 
you can see me that I had fever. Now, mm. the next thing that he did, he said, it will go. I said, it will go, yes. I said, we prayed, but I believe God. Now, he now went to go, I, I believe that thing was Dongonyaru. I don't know what they call it in English. Mm. Now, he now brought that leaf. He brought mango back. Later on, I researched and I asked him. He brought mango back. He brought um, guava leaf. Mm. He brought unripe purple and things like that. He mixed them together and cooked it. When he cooked it, he said, I should put my head and cover myself with it. I did. And by the time I did, and the heat penetrated into yes, your body. Into my body and my nose. You inhaled the heat. Yes, I felt relieved. And he said, I should drink it. And I drank it, sir. Under one hour, it was as if I'm in another world. That's another way God can use to heal us. Mm. God, using herbs, roots, and leaves and bags, it's not a sin. Jesus said that he did not come to eradicate the law, but he came to fulfill it. Hmm. Sir, so for the mere fact that some people in Africa, yes, yes sir. are using these things for satanic purpose, does not mean that is what God intended to be used. Hmm. Are you getting what I'm yes, saying? Yes, sir. Now, I, I saw a Chinese friend of mine a Chinese friend of mine at my 12th when we went shopping, he called me. Ah, he mentioned my name. Da, 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 da. I said, ah, what are you doing here? He said, ah, we came here to buy some things. What are the things? He said, you saw these four containers, is ours. And I asked him, what is there? He said, Prophet, come, Prophet, come. I went with him. And he opened one. It was filled up with 40 feet container, Nigeria sand, only Nigeria sand. Sand. Sand, okay. Sand, ordinary it's, sand. Yeah, okay. sand. Now, I'm coming. Mm. <laughs> so he opened the second one. I saw all these logs of trees, like Uroko, or um, they've chopped it into small, small, small something. Mm. Yes? That one. Then the two containers, when he opened it, I saw all manners of leaves, bags. Roots, and I, that now convinced me China is making a lot of money from herbs, roots, and stuff like that in Europe. More than one hundred billion dollars per annum <sighs> is what they are making. And you come to look at it, they will have processed it. Even it will not be like the original that we drink here, yes, sir. because we drink organic. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. For the fact that your church say you should people should not take herbs or say, probably they are trying to limit you to not deviate into a call, take something, because the word herbalist, when you begin to do it, the ah is an herbalist, is an herbalist. The word herbalist means someone who knows about root leaves and, and herbs to make use of it. It's not involving satanic, demonic incantation. You are saying that the word herbalist is not demonic. It's not demonic. It's not demonic. That's the perception. It's in Africa, it looks demonic because they use it for demonic stuff. They say Babala or Yes, Lobo. Babala. Yes. Most uh, Chinese people are herbalists. Mm -hmm. And they, do, they read herbalism in university or to master level. That is, they're making use of roots, herbs, leaves, and stuff like that for healing. Yes. The Bible did not go against those things, sir. What one check the scripture? Hmm. The Bible said in Isaiah 6, verse 13, Genesis 3, 17, Genesis 1, verse 29. You see, you know, when there was uh, this um, outbreak of epidemic in 1 King chapter 6, the prophet told them that they should go and cut a tree, and that tree they should put it inside the pot. Hmm. They say, Alas, 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 there is death because they ate. A vegetable that was poisonous. Mm. Now it is the same thing that he used to cure it. Now what I'm trying to say here is this that one woman is selling in one market, selling all manners of leaves and something. That does not mean that those have roots and something are bad. Mm. Yes, but if you if you buy it from them, they might have initiated it because every contact established contract. Mm. 
Every contact establishes contract. contract. Yes. So, so they might have initiated it, but that's not the way it's supposed to be. They shouldn't initiate it. You cannot make incantation on bitter leaf and say it should be bitter. You cannot make incantation on uh, garlic and say it should smell awful. It has its natural ability. African people just use it for, for demonic, satanic thing. That's the reason as a Christian, when you give your life to Christ, you cannot limit yourself without getting knowledge. Hmm. So the third level is the, the supernatural. The supernatural. Divine. Hmm. That is the highest one. That when herbs, roots, doesn't work. When you've gone for surgery, when you've gone for medication, you've used all manners of things, it doesn't work. Then that is when the supernatural power of God hmm. will not move in and set in and begin to heal us. One day, sir, hmm. as I said in the previous episode, I said, God told me that it's God of spear part. God of spear, spear part. part. These are Igbo words for business. God of spear part. As we have spear part for cars, all manners of cars, mm. that mm. that when anything break, engine damages, they will go and look for exactly the one that fit in. And they will take the old one and put it. The same way, God, God has got extra nose mm. in his spear part room in heaven. Mm. He has got extra eyes. He has got extra air. That's the reason why in a crucifix, when somebody who was blind came to a crusade and received healing, it is because the supernatural power of God has come down, take the old eyes away and put the new one. Even, even that person before they come for the healing crusade, yes, yes God will have known before they came that they are coming. Mm. So even it hmm. may be that it is when they were sleeping. So there's provision already. Yes. When they were sleeping, before they went to the healing crusade, God did the work hmm. and change and change the eyes and put another one because he's God of spear part. Hmm. The God of spear part. The God of spear part. This is the first time I'm hearing it. Yes, sir. That's what God told me. If it is spinal cord, he has another spinal cord in heaven. Mm. He can fix it. That is the highest. But for the fact that it is the highest doesn't mean that we cannot use herb roots and leaves. It is because through the hands of the people that it gets to us, where the, that's where the problem is. Mm. And that's the reason why, Christian, you must study. You must study. If someone is having uh, impotency, yes, I'm not talking impotency from the womb or right from the, right from the beginning. There are things that have roots that can make the erection to be functional. Mm. If someone is having fibroid and you don't want to do, you don't want to do fibroid operation, there are drinks that, that can be prepared for that person that they will drink. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. The same thing is diabetes. You know, it is not everything has to be tablet. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, but before we, we, we do that, we must know what we are going to use. Mm. We must know the materials. We must know the type of ingredients. Sir. Mm. There are some roots that if you, cook, if you cook them, yes, it has a potency mm. to heal. Just like that? Yes. Potency to heal. Potency. God has deposited potency. There are some seeds, sir that when you make it, when you prepare it, and you give it to somebody to drink, it can heal. Hmm. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, Surprise. Mm, God himself put power and energy inside her root. So if you are watching me, you must know what you want to use. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's the issue there. You must know what you want to use. When you know what you want to use, the rest, the rest becomes story. Hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah, sir. Yes, sir. I want, okay. You're saying something. So, because you see why I'm bringing that question to you, sir. You, you don't know how problematic this issue you are treating is. Even, I think a few months ago in London, there was the issue of transfusion, and uh, maybe somebody said because they are from Jehovah Witness, it's not going to allow them to transfuse his blood or whatever. You know, they want to, uh, blood, uh, people that are giving out blood and all that. So, and in some 
churches like Christ Apostolic Church, they blatantly tell you, don't take any medicine, just bring your water, like this one, that you pray to that mommy, you're okay. Of course, I believe in the role of faith, that you could put sands in the water and all that. And a lot of people even go out of their way, their age, their body is not responding again. They tell them to go to Rio Kenya near there for all the Agbe B seminar. They put them through seminar in the afternoon, in the night, on wash your ruler, and you see somebody just come from the Agbe B seminar and just die because maybe she's 61, she's 64, she needed a lot of rest, and they don't tell you that with the bad boy, we go to that. So you are trying to help us to damage, know, that. damage that ignorance. Yes, sir. So you need to understand that I saw a woman, yes, she was having high blood pressure. Hmm. High blood pressure. I had serious high blood pressure. Yes. You, 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 you manage high blood pressure. There are some sicknesses that you manage. You manage them. You can manage them till about 90 years old. So I was in the market and the woman said to somebody, ah, my pastor told me I should go and throw away my pills. I overheard her and I went to her and said, madam, don't throw away your medication. I am healed. I have confessed the word of God. Nothing, nothing can harm me. Sickness and disease will not touch my body. I said, Madam, if your pastor told you that, it is wrong. Go and be using your medication. Three months later, I got to know that the woman died. Jesus Christ. Because she was not using her medication. Uh, I know somebody okay. who was our church member. Yes? Hmm. She, 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 she was not using her diabetics and high blood pressure medication yes she works i will not i don't want to because if i tell you where she works people will be able to identify her mm. where she walked she dropped she collapsed just like that yeah she collapsed and passed away it, no it was the grace of god because it's in abroad it was the grace of god that has to save her because mm. there's medical facility so and there is respond uh, yes. urgency. We we see a lot of healing crusade being organized, but we didn't see it much more around coronavirus. Mm. I've seen the pastor who said he has solution for coronavirus. It was saying that coronavirus that killed the pastor mm. because you, 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 I know about three of all of them. Mm. Yes, you don't, you don't tempt God. Whatever God tells you to do, do it. For the fact that God doesn't heal people in a crusade, doesn't mean God cannot use another method to heal people. Do you understand me, sir? So if anybody is watching me under the sound of my voice, you must know what you are going to use. Say, for instance, someone is having menstrual pain all the time. Mm. You know, there are some ladies, when they're having their menstrual pain, they begin to roll on the floor. Yes. Serious pain. Mm. Sir, ordinary lemon on lime can solve the problem. Ordinary lemon or lime can solve the problem. There are some things, there are some things that, is, that is wrong with someone. You don't need, although prayer is everything, but you don't need to pray on it. Like if you're having a headache now, go and take Panadol. Although there's nothing bad in laying hands on yourself and say I receive it. But if you go and take Panadol or Parastamol and use it, it is not a sin. For any, 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 any Christian who believe that the doctrine, doctrinal issue in their church does not allow them to have blood transfusion. Sir, blood saves a lot of life in abroad. Hmm. In fact, before you die, they may even ask you, do you want to donate your blood? They even ask some people, do you want to donate your kidney? When you die, should they remove your kidney and keep it somewhere for somebody who will need it? See, those, those are things that God can use to heal human beings. It doesn't have to necessarily be that you have to go to... I'm not saying people should not go to healing, healing crusade or whatever. So I'm not against that because... God, by his tribe, we, we are healed. Yeah. But you see, there are some things that can easily be dealt with. Hmm. By common sense. Yes. The highest form of healing is divine healing. Hmm. When God comes supernaturally into the situation and change the situation and lay his hands and heal that person. Hmm. Hmm. So if you are watching me, yes, in Africa, Yes, it is. Um, it is a, 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 a people are not encouraged, but based on the question people are asking me, 
Agbo, uh, herbs, roots, leaves, barks. Okay. God brought it for us to heal us. Agbo, Iba, Agbo, Jedi. Yes. Agbo, Awapa, and all yes. these Agbos. Yes. God brought it for us to heal us. But you must know what you are using. You must know, you must study it hmm. to know what you are using. So can you imagine, even in the book that uh, uh, the Lady Evangelist Bissell I wrote, uh, I, I didn't bring that book today, that is uh, uh, the TB Joshua I know, hmm. uh, you know, she wrote that a lot of white people came for healing at the synagogue in those days. The TB Joshua would just tell them, don't use your medicine again, you have been healed, and they will stand in front of the camera and give testimony to the glory of Jesus through TB Joshua and all the rest. Only for them to go back to South Africa and die after one week, or land in America, and they are dying just like chicken and all that. So would you say those kind of people died in ignorance, sir? They, they die in ignorance. I'll tell you the reason. And it's half-half. Yeah. They die in ignorance, and they also die because the man of God, who did that, allowed them to die yeah. like a chicken. Yeah. Do you understand me? Yeah. That's the reason I like one pastor, which I'm not going to mention him. Say, go to your doctor and confirm if that thing is still there. Mm. It's not because God cannot take it away immediately. Yes, but they want to be sure and certain that that disease and sickness is no more there. As compared with, you carry it with faith. Yes, I believe what the man of God said. I believe the word of God, which is okay. But eventually, when you get home, you see the thing rearing its ugly head back again. That does not confirm that it is the hand of God and the power of God that has touched and healed you. Because if it is the hand of God and the power of God, it heals you completely, permanently, no more. Hmm. Hmm. So, that is the way it is. I mean, I mean, I, and there's other things that people said. Somebody is asking that preparing some bowl with alcohol is it a sin? That is it a sin? They tell you that oh, I would you know all those kind of things or, or, or let's use this little uh, wine or uh, uh, what they call that thing um, the one that uh, spirit you know is it the same well that's just like drinking alcohol now my own take on that is it is not a sin people might say ah but it is alcoholic what happened there is this, sir. Hmm. When those things are prepared, the potency of those things killed and subdued, um, and subdued the alcoholic content hmm. that is inside of it to the barest minimum. Sir, there are some drugs that doctor will give you. Hmm. He will tell you not to drive. Hmm. Don't drive after taking them. Yes, don't drive. Why? Because there is something that makes you to be high. In it, what's the difference? And you will use it. What's the difference between that one and Agbo or the herbs that is being prepared with alcohol base? There are some, there are some people with fibro. When you prepare whatever fibro thing that you are going to prepare, it has to be alcoholic base. Hmm. But within the space of three days, four days, five days, yes, it will kill the alcoholic, the alcoholic content in it. Hmm. But that alcohol is the base for it to be used. And those, those kind of drink cannot be taken by a woman that is bleeding hmm. because hmm. alcohol increases the flow of blood to bleed. But the next thing you do is to change the system depending on the system of that woman. Are you getting me, sir? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Because there are some that you prepare with omidu. That is the, the water you get from Mugi, from Pap. Yes. There are some that you prepare with ordinary water. It's, it depends on the system mm. of that person. Mm. Because you've got to understand the size of the fiber before you can be able to deal with the person. Now, take for instance, sir, mm. there, are some, there are some infertility that when someone is not pregnant, that, that people do not understand. When you have samuroro, that is to say, a woman's nipples just shining like that, mm. yes, or a da. Hmm. It, it is a challenging thing for that person to be pregnant, easily like that. Because there is something that when a woman, a wife 
and the husband, they meet together hmm. yes, with their conjugal right. Hmm. If that woman gets up immediately, the sperm can come down. Just like that? Yes, it can come down because she's having a dad. Hmm. Yes, I don't know what they call it in English. If that woman also sleep, it's preferable for the woman to lie down on the bed like that so that the sperm does not come down immediately. And if it's also come down immediately, it has to be dealt with because some of them are spiritual factor as a result of either spiritual husband or spiritual wife, hmm. which we are still going to talk about. But uh -huh. it's disturbing a lot of people right now. Yes. Hmm. You see? So, and what are, there are some people, their fallopian tube is blocked. Hmm. And they need to go to the hospital to go and clear it. But it is not only the hospital that can clear fallopian tube. Hmm. <laughs> sir, not the only hospital that can no, clear no, 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 sir. It believe. depends on knowledge. Uh -huh. Sir, to God be the glory. Yes, I have a special anointing oil that I do for some people with that kind of challenge. Hmm. Sir, when, when they use it, they go to the toilet. You see this thing coming out like it can flame and things like that. If I've used it for 20 people, to God be the glory, 15 people were pregnant. Because it will clear their fallopian too. Some people don't like surgery. So if you don't like surgery, what else do you do? Oh, you depend on the raw power of God for supernatural healing. Yes. But there are also methods by which people can go through, yes, for this type of ailment to be removed. Mm. There, are some, there are some people, they have constant, constant, two more, two more, um, is it migraine? Headache. Okay, migraine. Migraine is different from some type of headache some people have. Mm. Some people's he, uh, headache, Maybe as a result of spiritual attack. Hmm. And that's what gradually leads to madness. Hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> this, 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 this is... Because, because, see, there's nobody that can run mad, yes, without watching the sun and the moon. Hmm. That's why they call it luna, lunatic. They hmm. call it mad person. That word lunatic comes from the word luna, which is moon. Only a man returns, so he can show you to lay. Or should help me because what they program to that person's brain or line is through the moon. Mm. Now, there's times you see the moon over Jabba mm. coming down. Dead, 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 dead. If someone has mental problem, they begin, they begin to change their aura, mm. begin to change their aura. Oh they feel depressed, mm. and that's the reason why Christian we must search for knowledge. Mm. We must search for it. We must look for it. We must study it. Hmm. God wants us to have knowledge. It is those people with knowledge and the understanding of the things, the way God works, hmm. that can free this world that is full of wickedness. It is not the wicked people. It's not the witches and wizards. It is not, it's not, it's not that woman who's supposed to be drinking water and they want to drink blood. Hale Moshante, Kambradoskada. It is not that man who is a wizard. It's not that, that, that witch is a wizard that's supposed to be eating fish and they want to eat meat. I'm prophesying to someone under the sound of my voice. Any meeting that the witches and wizards will hold on your behalf, thunder of God will strike them. Amen. We withdraw their flying lances. Amen. They will not be able to fly anymore. Amen. If they made mention of it or on your behalf, we their plane, their aircraft will fall down Amen. and scatter. Amen. And also, if they manage to fly, we withdraw their landing lances. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 6 from verse 12, it says there are six things the Lord hates. Six things that the Lord hates seven, seven, yeah, seven is an abomination. There is difference between hating and uh, an abomination. Mm. And that abomination, he hates it with perfect hatred. Now, if there are some things God hates, there are some things that are a war. That are a war. There are forbidden things that can be applied to all these forces of darkness. Mm. And they raise up their hands. It depends on revelation. You saw in the book of Genesis, um, Exodus chapter 30, God told Moses, Moses, this is the way you are going to prepare an anointing oil. He gave him specification. Hmm. Sir, a lot of Christians are dying. They are wriggling in trouble, hmm. in challenges. 
And it's those things that are little, little things like that that can be solved. You told me that in London, God took you to a pedestal and it was showing you some oils, some things inside your trance and you were arrested for almost a month. Um, uh, for 14 days. 14 days. Yes, ah. yes, sir. So that, that time, I learned how to make oil. Mm. I was telling somebody, I said, sir, they have arrogated palm oil to witches and wizards and occultic people. Mm. That's a, uh, red oil. Hmm. Sir, you see that when they, when they born baby. So Christianity don't, will not make you be foolish. It is, it is not only the, first, uh, the, the children of this world that owns these things. God owns it and give it to us. Hmm. Red, red oil is gotten from palm, palm, uh, palm kernel. Yes, sir. Yes. When they process it and mash it and bring it out, you will realize that they use it to when a child is having body odor and or they just give back to a baby. They will not use alo- uh, olive oil now. They will not use anointing oil. It is that palm red oil yeah. that they will use to rub the baby yeah. and clear the baby. Sir, up. now, but in the church, the, in, in the church, all what we know is olive oil. Or, and we call it anointing oil. Okay. No, go to the book of Exodus chapter 30. You will see it there, sir. God told Moses, take this species, 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 and make the anointing oil. That anointing oil, nobody must use it to baffle, to do or drink it. Up. What they will use it for is to anoint the tabernacle mm. and anoint the priest. That's the only way. For sir, ecclesiastical purposes. Yes, sir. It is not every anointing that works with everything. Mm. Not every anointing. Anointing all, I mean, sorry. Yes. It's not every anointing all that works for everything. You cannot use Panadol, which is for, uh, for you may be saying that is physical, which is for headache, and use it for ulcer. Yeah. No. There are anointing all that you prepare, that when somebody eats in their dream, yes? When somebody eats in their dream, yes? That, that it, it, will, it, will, it will flush out when they drink it. It will flush out their system. Mm. There are nothing all that you prepare. It doesn't have to be necessarily be uh, uh, olive seed mm. where you press it and get olive oil. Yes, sir. It's from olive seed we get olive oil. But what about coconut oil? Mm. The coconut oil. That what about oil. shea butter oil? Mm. What about palm, palm kernel? Oil. Palm color, one of the most powerful oil is palm kernel. How powerful is that? Ah, sir. That thing is dangerous. Hmm. But you see, because satanic people are using it in their kingdom, ah, Adi, ah, hmm. Adi, ah, is, is meant for the devil. That is, that is what they know it to be used for. Mm. That's not the way it should function. Mm. That's not the way it should function, sir. That's what they know using it for. Palm kernel oil, sir, mm. is, it can neutralize a lot of poisonous things. Mm. But all what we know in our Christian life is olive oil. Just no, no, olive oil. No. Just olive oil is what we know. So how did we God struck with that ignorance? Because it's not being taught. Because you've talked about three oils now. Palm kernel oil, shea butter oil, coconut, coconut oil, coconut oil then palm oil itself. Palm oil itself. Yes. You can have garlic oil. Oh, even the same garlic? Yes. That same odor yes. garlic? Yes, because, because you use it at the base. Hmm. It depends on the ailment and the sickness of, of the person you are dealing with. Hmm. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So you can have uh, 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 peppermint oil. Mm. It depends. Mm. It depends. Peppermint. So peppermint oil, uh, you use as a base. A lot of people are not too open to this. Even a lot of pastors. And when we talk even about anointing oil, anointing oil destroy you and remove body. Of course, yes. But do you know how the person that is going to pray over that anointing or has prepared spiritually to release fire and release anointing upon that content for it to be potent? Hmm. There are some anointing or when they prepare it, you only drink it to work in your system. To work in your system and you just go to the toilet, you begin to sh- shit or... or 
pass out this dangerous thing you will not know is in your body. I, to God be the glory, I prepare uh, an anointing oil mm. for somebody with, with something in, in her womb. Mm. It's, it was a spiritual arrow. Mm. You know what? That was the first time I would hear it. I, I, I've heard about that, uh, that statement done in uh, Iraq and uh, an American war. Mm. When she used it, the husband gave me, I will not, tell, I will not say in the public what the husband gave me, but he thought it was a joke. He said, Daddy, I have to open every window in my house because I never knew there was a weapon of mass destruction inside my wife's tummy. Jesus Christ. Money that she will go window in Lewa Sile, told you, you will run to Jadi Wani, but you can't go and share. Hmm. I'm not trying to promote myself, but I'm promoting Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. Hmm. But what I'm trying to say here is this, that hmm. we no, no, must no. not die of ignorance. Hmm. Paul even said it in the book of 1 Corinthians, I don't want you to be ignorant. That those shall not be ignorant. And Hosea 4, 6, that says people die, our people die because of lack of knowledge. Yes. So we need that knowledge. Hmm. If you're a pastor, if you don't have an idea about something, yes, don't talk about it. Don't mislead your members. Don't mislead. I know of a pastor, when it comes to demonic and satanic something, he say, I don't have grace. Let me tell you who can help you in that area. And is there, that, that, I love that kind of pastor. He will send the member to a person that is good in deliverance. Hmm. A deliverance expert. Yes. I don't know anything about this one, but I know my friend. He's a deliverance minister. Go there. But sir, why do pastors put people in 40 days prayer and fasting? They say they have to go and fast. You know these people, they can't even eat. They don't have good food at home. They don't even have the money to purchase good food for, to break their fasting. Some are even suffering from ulcer. And you tell them to go and face Christ in 40 days when you know that their problem is just things like this that you have analyzed. Why do you think people put people in 40 days, 70 days prayer with Jesus, and after that 70 days prayer, their life is even worse. So I'm even dropping dead. Correct. I'm very correct. See, f let's look at fasting. Fasting does not glorify, fasting does not do anything to God. Hmm. That's the truth. You may, you, just like one day, I was preaching somewhere, I said, God can do all things and everything, but there's one thing God cannot do. He decided not to do it. If you saw the countenance of the people, hmm. ah, hmm. this is heresy. It's not heresy. By the time I break it down, their countenance change. I said, one of the reasons why God told Moses to go to Pharaoh and tell him, let my people go, is number one priority is to worship him. Hmm. Do you think God cannot worship himself? He can but he decided to arrogate that grace, mm. that role to his children, the human being. So God cannot worship himself. Mm. That is the reason why angels worship him, they bow down. That's the reason why human beings worship him, because God craved to be worshipped. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. So what, I, what I'm trying to say is because some men of God, whenever you don't know something, mm. refer them to, you don't have to be pastor activity. Pastor activity. Yes. No, go in the show, you, no, you don't have to be pastor activity. Sir, there are some things I don't handle in the ministry. I send people to person who you can delegate. Yes. Because I'm not pastor activity. Hmm. We have special grace in each area. That's why it is called body of Christ. Some people are good in deliverance. Some people are good in prophecy. If you are not a prophet and you don't have that... Although everybody, as I say, can prophesy because there's Holy Spirit inside us. But there's a difference between functionality of a prophet and the office of a prophet. Mm. Yes, sir. Functionality of a prophet, prophet and, the, and office. the office, just like the office of the president. Yes, sir. So, and are you the office of the governor. Yes. So, we need to understand that. If you are under the sound of my voice, the reason why people fast is to be able to kill the flesh. Oh. It benefits the person that is fasting. It allows your spiritual antenna to be out. Because you observe that when you are fasting, you are very calm. You are very focused. Mm. You go like you, you go quietly. You know, that kind of thing. 
you are focused on the thing, it makes you to be more focused on God. It changes your spiritual ability. It allows, because every radio has to have an antenna, it brings your own antenna out. To receive it, the signal. To receive signal. Not that it's blessing God. No matter even how you roll on the floor or cry, God has a modus operandi. He has a process which he will not bypass. That when you do this, I'm committed to do this. When you do this, praying without doing leads to frustration. Hmm. And spiritual manipulation. Yes. Hmm. You know, you see, and that's the reason why we are being encouraged as Christians to study the world. But there are a lot of people that want that study the world and see fall victim. Hmm. Oh God. They study the word in error. And they still fall victim. So, I, yeah, it is. I was asking, I want to ask this quick question because you see, this is a very strategic question and I want to beg you to please answer it. Okay, sir. A lot of people just stand on the altar and they say they are collecting prophetic offering. I'm so shocked and embarrassed. I mean, a bishop does it goes to a Babalao's house to go and take jazz and uh, has a secret room somewhere in Yanakwaja and somewhere, and he calls himself a prophet. He's taking prophetic office. You have just spoken about prophetic office now, office of the president. If you are not a president, you can't collect the salary of the president. If you are not the governor of the state, you can't collect the salary of the governor. But now, somebody is now saying he's taking prophetic offering. The, is that person doing the right thing, or is it a cost to that person? Well, um, it depends on how you look at it. Uh, 